What's up everybody, this is Diego and today I want to talk to you about one of my most favorite hobbies and that is crocheting. So many people are not familiar with crocheting but essentially what it is is something very similar to knitting except that instead of using two needles, use one hook. And as you can see, this is what I use um, in order for me to do a lot of my crocheting projects. Now one thing that I've always been very interested in is um, Basically, I've always been um, interested in being able to do something artistic or something very creative with crochet. But the problem has been that I, every time that I'm looking into a lot of the um, possible things that are out there, I'm just not very satisfied. So I started looking into something called tapestry crochet. So tapestry crochet, what it is, 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 in, is what... Um, is where you can basically reproduce a picture while using your string in order to um, in order to like make a picture so <clears throat> what I have done is I have actually been working on a project for about five months and I finally completed it and it's basically um, an art project uh, a crochet project that I did um, where I used Photoshop to reproduce a picture of myself. So what it is, is it's basically a blanket. And I have here for you all to see. Um, it's kind of hard for me to show you all of it on camera. But it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big blanket that I used. hard to see but um, maybe you could see a big part of it so essentially what I did is I crocheted single crochet um, back and forth the same uh, one single crochet except that within the row I changed I switched colors so as you can see every row is is um, one color then I switch then I switch to the other color and one thing that you'll notice is that this blanket has a right side and it has a wrong side so the re the reason is that it has a wrong side is because on the wrong side I carried a lot of the yarn but also because um, I made sure that the way that I crocheted that I didn't um, I didn't crochet the same way um, every other row it's kind of like in knitting where you switch um, the type of knitting that you do every other row. Well, this is exactly the same thing for the crochet. I uh, I, nor I normal single crochet all the way through through to the end of a row But then at the end of the row instead of turning and flipping <clears throat> over my work I um, Instead crocheted the piece backwards so that meaning that I kept um, the same side of the crochet on the same side of the of the um, piece so I, and I didn't turn it instead I crocheted it backwards um, the other way <clears throat> it's kind of a hard technique to learn and it's something that you have to learn on your own if you want to learn how to do this but um, it makes your crochet piece look a lot better and a lot more artistic so as you can see I'm very very satisfied with this it came out really really awesome and um, I hope that you all become inspired by it and if you have any questions please uh, feel free to send me a message here um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.